guys for another runaway route. Absolutely. We uh, left you in. We left you in Thousand Trails, no, Roundout Valley. So we got Valley. a big truck. It doesn't matter. Two and two. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> She's all giggly because I just said two and two. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, love to connection. Runaway Routes <laughs> and Love Connection. Uh, we left you last time in Ro Accord, New York at Rondout Valley. Right. Um, now, the next stop seems a little silly. Um, the reason we did it was we wanted to stay in a thousand trails uh, just to kind of get our feet wet with it. Um, but it wasn't really convenient to what we needed to do which was visit family and friends in New Jersey. Yep. Uh, so we actually flipped around that mountain again, but this time doing it by Camping World, <laughs> um, and uh, did a, about 30 miles to um, Newburgh, New York. So it's North New York City KOA. How long did it take us to get there? Well, it took us about four hours. And the reason was when we were hooking up in Rondau Valley, we had noticed we were leaking something yes. uh, for some reason odd reason a piece of metal punctured our radiator who radiator who's Who's? Uh, punct punctured our radio <laughs> radiator hose punctured our radiator <laughs> hose thank you Ed. you got it um and <laughs> uh we were leaking so yeah. we were freaked out because we had never had any kind of issues at all uh we called uh, roadside assistance and he came and uh we met him at the camping world which of course it was a sunday so it was closed of course uh, at least not the store was open, Store's but the open. service was service, closed. Yeah. Um, so they gave, I think they gave a recommendation they for did. someone to, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that guy came out, uh, and between he and I, and quite a charge on the credit card, um, we got all patched up. Um, we got all patched up, and then we were able to head on down to the Newburgh, New York KOA. Yes. Uh, one of the reasons why we like short drives is just purely for that because we were stuck four hours where we were mm -hmm. and we still made if it. we had another four hour drive it would be an eight hour drive right so we would have been able to do right. that but if you're doing an eight hour drive and have to wait four hours that's a 12 hour drive yeah, sorry we got we got we really got lucky right now hold on everybody we got a boat <laughs> anyways uh you'll see it right there Ooh. Uh, so, yeah, it was really lucky that it, it could have been worse. Yeah. Um, so, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> okay, so we got that Band-Aid. Yeah, and so then we it's headed, a nice park. Right, so we headed to the KOA. Yeah, and it's about an hour from where I grew up, um, mm -hmm. give or take a little bit. And so that made it easy to get to my mom right. and our my friends and your friend, L in New York. Right, but it's a, you can get a train nearby. Hi, Elle. Um, yeah, you can uh, drive. Um, yeah, there's definitely different ways to yeah, get to the city. That's right. Yeah, it's it's very convenient to New York City. They're, it's not far from the mass transit system. Right. Um, so you can get on a train down to New York or drive if you want to unhook. Right. Um, if you, I know you mentioned that if you have solar, you may want to ask for a certain part of the park because the right. part we were in was really nice and big tra shady trees total canopy of but trees. if you needed your solar it would yeah, not work now obviously work. if you're staying in a campground you can plug in right. so it's not a big deal but now you found out since we're going to be staying what? there again in the future uh you found out that you can now book and yeah reserve that's a spot right online. absolutely yeah so now you can reserve your spot and pay a little bit more to hold that exact spot right we'll see how it works we're on our way back there so we'll see if it really <laughs> works the way it says online but <laughs> keeping my fingers crossed and the nice thing is we've been to the park before so we knew the area that we would be looking for a spot so absolutely that made it yeah and us. we keep all of our site maps of all right. our campgrounds we keep every single mm -hmm. handout they give us yep. uh, just for the future if we want to go back or not want to go back in some cases we remember right here's the good pile here's the not so right. good pile also helps get it in your memory because yeah me especially there's some parks we go to She's and i'm great. like what which one was She's that great yeah well it, it does help keep our memories fresh yes. for sure <laughs> um so we were there we did a little video on new york city mm -hmm. right there uh, also down below um if you haven't subscribed also would love Ooh, you to hit subscribe yeah, that'd be fun so that'd be great thanks um but the only other thing i would say is if you're 40 feet or longer at check-in unhook right some of the turns are fine for a 40-foot coach but if you were 40 foot and towing they could be a little tighter yes. um, i always ask they told me 
unhook I did no problems getting it to our spot and it was it was a it was a fine little camper <laughs> no it was nice it was a good place yeah. um, we spent a week and then we actually moved closer to New York to actually film the New York episode um, and that was into Jersey City New Jersey Liberty Harbor Liberty RV Harbor RV Park and this was something we saw um, in magazines and stuff yeah like other channels it's stuff the like closest that as you can get to New York City and it is it is very sure close is. Uh, we have beautiful views from the campground you could swim over to I wouldn't New but York you City. could swim the uh, Hudson <laughs> River over you could pull a Kramer yeah, he was in the East River and even that's not so good um, no but it was a location wise great place Absolutely. Easy to take a uh, drive in through the tunnel or take yeah. the uh, boat taxi across or the right. train. Um, Be prepared so to spend money. It, it costs money to get across the river for yeah. sure, either under it well, or over site, it. At the RV place. And at the RV site. It's an expensive yeah. spot. Um, but you have a view of the... You do have great views. Absolutely. Statue yeah. of Liberty and the skyline. Mm -hmm. um, getting into Jersey City is a little bit... Ooh. Uh, so the turns are not great. Do not listen to the drivers. Don't... <laughs> People online will be like, oh yeah, you got it, you got it. They don't care about your coach. They only care about you making the light so that they can make the light. Um, I was very impressed with his driving. It's just patient Even and slow. Even with the toe. Whew. Patient and slow. Uh, they say all spots are 40 feet long, uh, maybe to the exact 40 feet. Yeah. Um, we got in and we had no buffer zone at all. Right. We were very tight. Um, and even somebody who parked next to us kind of clipped the Jeep yeah. that was parked to the side of us. Um, not intentionally. They were no. very kind about it. Um, but it, but it there's is no place, is. if you've got a 40-foot coach, um, there's really no place to park your tow vehicle. Yeah. Um, you have to Close. try to squeeze it into like where you're at, but you got to be careful not to stick out too much because right. there's security. They'll, you know, come They'll talk to you, you as well. So Yeah, you can park it a little bit further away, um, but... We wanted it close by because we had right. the bikes still on the back. So of the Jeep, and yep. it's Jersey City. So so and the other thing is there are some spots we noticed um, kind of more into the park that looked longer than forty feet. Yeah, you're right. We around saw, the corner, there's a lot of Class A coaches. There. Yeah, in the big forty-five footer. Or yeah. So around the back, further, you definitely have. Uh, larger spots just right. be careful which spot you get if they say it's 40 feet say well can I have one that's longer if that's concerning to you but there are ferries all day all the time to take you over to the city so. absolutely and we we uh, we drove the Jeep in so that we could do our video with you um, but uh, it was and he knows how to drive in being that I New grew York up city. outside of it driving in New York City was not a concern for me. And with two bikes, mind you, on the That's back right. of the Jeep. So. That's right. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching this episode of Runaway Routes. Perfect. Um, we are going to be continuing our drive down south. So you can keep up with us on our videos as well as... Oh, I'm getting the same one. Thanks very much for coming along with us on this runaway route. Uh, you're going to follow us down as we go along season one. Um, so you'll be able to not only see the route we're taking, but also the episodes that we were filming along the way. Yes. Um, if it's your first time here, love to have you subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Give and us understand, a thumbs up. And understand that the editing gets better as the videos go along. I think the videos are great from the beginning. Yeah. But he's a self-critic so well you know they get better so <laughs> uh, you everybody. can also follow us on instagram facebook pinterest and twitter so come join us we would love to have you with us yes thank you thank you mm -hmm.